we present All Gas and Gators. Episode 5, The Bishop Sees a Ghost. Starring Robertson Hare, William Mervyn, Derek Nimmo and John Barron. With this week's special guest, Joan Sanderson as Mrs. Pew Critchley. As the bishop's taxi drives through the main gateway of the cathedral close, it draws to a halt. What's up, Mr. Scam? Why have you stopped? It's all these people. They're in the way. Well, what are they doing? They seem to be going into the old refectory hall. Look, there's a notice. Residence meetings. Oh. Well, drive on. Yes, your lordship. Ah, here you are. Thank you, Mr. Scam. Right. Good night, my lord. I'll be able to wait, Mr. Scam, your money. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Good night. No, no, just a minute. Don't rush off. I shall need you tomorrow to take me to a dinner. Bring me back afterwards. Oh. Well, is that all right? What time afterwards? Oh, about half past eleven. Oh, sorry, my lord. I'd like to, but I'm not coming in the close of that time of night. Mrs. Scam wouldn't like it. She's heard about there being a ghost here. Oh, really, Mr. Scam? It's all right for you, my lord. You're in the business, as it were. <laughs> but my old ticker's a bit dodgy, see? If I saw anything like that, it might do for me. Here, yeah, it's getting dark. I'm off. Oh, really foolish, superstitious man. Newt! Newt! Ah, Oh, yeah, what a day, what a day. Oh, dear me, are you very tired, my lord? Tired? Newt, I'm exhausted. The train was late again, and this shoe is agony. Well, come through into the study. I, I've made the fire up. Ah, thank you, Newt. Oh, well, that's better. Now, let's see what's wrong with this shoe. Uh, would you like me to undo your gaiter, my lord? It's all right, Newt. I can manage. Ah. Really, you know, I sometimes wonder if it's all worth it. Rushing from committee to committee, leaving one early, arriving late at the next administration, administration. And what's at the end of it, I ask myself? A glass of sherry, my lord? Uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Newt. No, I didn't know there was a meeting of residence tonight, Newt. Well, it's an emergency meeting, my lord, about the ghost. Oh, not more hysteria. Mrs. Pew Critchley has organised it. The dean's wife? What's it got to do with her? Uh, ah, hello, that's the trouble. Got a hole in my sock. I'm afraid Mrs. Pew Critchley has seen it. Mrs. Pew Critchley, she can't have. When? Well, last night, my lord. But they were clean on this morning. <laughs> oh, no, my lord, the ghost. She's seen the ghost. Oh, is that all? I thought for a moment... Well, you that could... makes eight people who've seen it this week. Nine, if you count the wing commander. I don't, of course. Why not? Well, he'd been one of his trips to London, my lord. Oh, had he? Everyone feels it's getting out of hair. Ah, but surely he doesn't do it often. I mean, most of the time he's very respectable. No, no, my lord, no, the ghost. Everyone feels the ghost is getting out of hair. Newt! Once and for all, there is no ghost. But, my lord... On I... these occasions, there is always a natural explanation. Oh, do you really think so? Certainly. Hmm. But it says here in this old book that I've been reading that the ghost of an old crusader once haunted this cathedral. Newt, if I cannot prevent a wave of hysteria sweeping the cathedral close, I can at least prevent it breaking over my chaplain. Once and for all, I will not pander to these primitive superstitions. Oh. Uh, uh, don't, don't put that shoe on the table. It's bad luck. <laughs> May I? May I come in? Oh, of course, Henry, dear old friend. Come in and sit down. What have you been up to? Oh, I've made a visitation to East Rackford. East Rackford? Mm, yes, it's near Ringmold. The incumbent is the Reverend Norman Thrupp, my lord. Reverend Norman Thrupp? The church is in the middle of the village, opposite the hare and billet. Yes, the chancel is perpendicular and has a medieval squint. Oh, yes, of course, and so is the Reverend Norman Thrupp. <laughs> Well, what did you find? Uh, he's got a slate loose. Yes, I always feared as much. <laughs> you know, it's getting very difficult to find the right type of man. Um, on his south transept. Uh, oh. Uh, and both his gutters are blocked. Altogether, he's uh, a most interesting man. <laughs> he sounds it. 
I thoroughly enjoyed my lunch with him, especially when I discovered he's keen on spirits. Yes, I can imagine that, Henry. <laughs> he's made a study of them. Oh, has he? Well, hardly a suitable pursuit for a clergyman. Uh, confidentially, I told him you were having a bit of a problem in that direction. Henry! Uh, he offered to help you in any way he could. I do not need help. But there have been so many witnesses, my lord. I mean, every night this week. Every night? Nonsense. I haven't touched a whisky for days. Uh, no, Bishop. No, 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 Bishop. Uh, not spirits, uh, you know, as in booze. Spirits as in uh, uh, spirits. Oh, really, Henry, this is too much. First Newton, then you can talk nothing but ghosts. Once and for all, I do not believe in ghosts, and I will not have shades or apparitions discussed in my presence. Now, please, Henry, may we change the subject? Oh, of course, Bishop. Point taken. I say... Yes, Henry? Did you know you've got a hole in your sock? Oh. <laughs> I'll go and get your slippers, my lord. Oh, you better have a sherry, Henry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Bishop. I'll just pour it out. Uh, the dean and Mrs. Pew Critchley, my lord. Oh, on second thoughts, uh, perhaps not. <clears throat> Don't trouble yourself, Newt. I'll go straight in. Good evening, my lord. Oh, Dean, this is an unexpected uh, pleasure. I hope we're not disturbing you, my lord, but we have come on a matter of the utmost importance. Indeed? What is that? Oh, oh good evening, Mrs. Bukritchley. How are you? As well as can be expected, Bishop. Good evening, Archdeacon. Ah, oh, Mrs. Pugh Critchley. <laughs> Sit here, my love. You mustn't tire yourself. The doctor says it is essential my wife should rest in her condition. Her condition? <laughs> oh, I, I, I didn't know. It was a great shock, Archdeacon. <laughs> oh, it, uh, it must have been, uh, but a happy one, I don't doubt. <clears throat> a happy one? Uh, may I be the first to congratulate you both. <laughs> Mrs. Pugh Christie saw the ghost last night. Oh, 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 sorry, Dean. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> In the cloisters, shall I tell them, my love? Yes, tell them, love. Mm. Well, Grace was coming home late last night after a meeting of her kneeler-making circle. And as I took the shortcut through the cloisters, I suddenly felt ice cold and I knew I was not alone. Then... I saw it. Oh, did it look like an old crusader? Huh? No, it did not. Yeah. It was a figure in a in a black cloak. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. Don't excite yourself, my love. It sounds like a verger to me. Then how, Bishop, do you account for the fact that it vanished through the wall? Well, it's dark in the cloisters, my dear lady, and you are probably weary after a hard evening's labour <laughs> stuffing needles. <laughs> Nervous exhaustion, I don't doubt. My wife is no silly chit of a girl. Indeed, no. <laughs> my lord, a meeting of the Residents' Association has unanimously decided that this situation cannot continue. I therefore ask your permission to have this unhappy spirit... Exorcise. Exorcise? No, no, no. I deplore that sort of thing. The attendant publicity, the thinner Sunday papers would be round our ears. Besides, I would first want proof that there was something there to exorcise. But there is. I've seen it. Oh, I don't wish to be rude, madam, but I remain unconvinced. What you saw was, I'm sure, either a verger or a trick of the light. Very well, my lord. Prove it. What do you mean, prove it? Well, it's all very well to say there's nothing there. That's easy in the well-lit comfort of the palace. Mm. It would be a different story were you to spend the night in those cloisters. Yes. Me? Spend the night in the cloisters? Why don't you, my lord? If your theory is correct, you have nothing to fear. And I think, if I may say so, you owe it to the Residents' Association. Oh, what a good idea. <laughs> It, my lord, then we shall really know if it's the old crusader or not. Oh, this is ridiculous. Then you will give your permission for exorcism. My dear Dean, you leave me no alternative. I'm sure it's the best course, my lord. I will spend tonight in the cloisters. What? Oh, I am glad. You spend all night there, Bishop? Alone? Not entirely alone, Henry. Newt will be with me. <laughs> I must say, my lord, I'm forced to admire your courage. Quite frankly, it is not a thing that I would care to do. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm merely a, a seeker after truth. Most impressive. We will go and inform the residents. I only hope, my lord, we shall meet you in the morning. <laughs> Why shouldn't you? I mean, I mean, what I only what meant happen? that I am catching the morning train, Newt. Come, yeah. Grace. Yes, Lionel. Uh, Bishop, I wondered if I might say something to you as a woman. Madam, I should be flattered. Uh, do you know you've got a hole in your sock?
Well, it's a nice full moon anyway. Oh, come on, Luke, don't dawdle. Well, I'm sorry, my lord, but I'm rather loaded down with all these things. Oh, do stop fussing, man. Well, my lord, couldn't you carry something? My dear Newt, I'm carrying the lantern. Surely you don't expect me to carry anything else? Well, no, my lord, I suppose not. Oh, aren't the cloisters simply lovely in the moonlight? Not as lovely as my bed. Methinks it was a harvest moon, a merry moon, a naughty moon that shone upon the pieman and touched him with its light. <laughs> and he wasn't the only one who was touched. <laughs> well, it's all so beautiful, my lord. Oh, you know, we should do this more often. <laughs> what have you got on your hands? Oh, uh, my mittens, my lord. Mittens? Oh, really? And what's that book? This? Oh, it's Cathedrals and Their Ghosts, actually. What on earth have you brought that for? Well, I thought it would help to identify the ghosts. You see, if it's the old crusader... You know, Newt, once and for all, we are not going to see a ghost. Oh, don't you think so? Oh, how very disappointing. We shall probably see something. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, what? <laughs> Owls, mice, oh. bat shadows, the same things that all the other people saw. Now, where are we going to sit? Where is this mythical ghost supposed to walk? Well, my lord, as far as I can ascertain, the spectre comes through that door over there, in the far corner of the cloisters. You mean from the verger's changing room? Uh, yes, my lord. And then it walks down that side of the cloisters and comes along here, past where we are standing. Oh, don't. Where does he go then? Up there to the blank wall at the end. Where the stone seat is? Yes, my lord, yes. What does it do then? Sit down. No, Lord, no, it goes through the wall. Oh, does it indeed? And what is behind the wall? Well, the other side of the verger's changing room. <laughs> it hardly seems worth its while, does it? <laughs> Obviously, we must take up our post on that seat. But that's where the spectre... Precisely not. If it's going to walk through the wall, he can walk through us as well. That should prove something. I don't know what, but something. Come on. <laughs> Ah, now, 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 come along. Put all the things down on the seat here. Yes, yes my lord. Yes. I'll just put the lantern here. Now, that is the food in that basket, isn't it? Yes, my lord, and it's frightfully heavy. Well, we, we won't touch it till about three in the morning. Do you agree? Oh, yes, my lord, yes, wise, yes. Now, where is my briefcase? Ah, here it is. Ah, good. <laughs> Do you know what I've got in here, Newt? Ah, no, my lord, yes. The most effective ghost-detecting device yet thought of. Oh, is it a vibration meter? No. One of those special thermometers that shows when the temperature suddenly drops? No. Oh, well, uh, oh, you, you haven't got an infrared telescope, have you, one more? No, Newt. I have got a three-pound bag of self-raising flour. <laughs> well, what's that for? Footprints, Newt. Footprints. Have you ever heard of a ghost leaving footprints? No, I don't think so, no. Well, I mean, they wouldn't, would they? We sprinkle this over the ground he's supposed to walk on, and it'll tell us whether he's a real ghost or whether he has feet of clay. Oh, isn't that clever? Isn't that frightfully clever? Oh, come on. <laughs> here, take a handful. Oh, right here. Where we plow the fields on scared. <laughs> That's hardly very suitable, well, Newt. I'm so sorry, my lord. Yeah, well, well, for that, do. Yes, come on, let's sit down. Ah. Oh, my word, it looks like Christmas morning. Oh, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, where are my rugs and bottles? Ah, here you are, my lord. Thank you. Uh, is that my other rug? Well, actually, I was rather hoping... Uh, I just um, tuck it round my feet, will you, Newt? <laughs> yes, my lord, yes. <sighs> <sighs> What's the time? Um, eleven o'clock. Mm. Four hours before we can have anything to eat. Yes, my lord, yes. We mustn't weaken on that, Newt. No, no, my lord, no, rather not. No, we must remember revelations. Oh, you mean chapter 16? Precisely, Newt. Blessed are they that watch. <laughs> that was the uh, <laughs> the last sandwich, was it? Ah, uh, yes, my lord. Yes. Oh, pity. I enjoyed that picnic. Oh, so did I, my lord. Sitting out here like this, I feel we've earned it. And so do I, my lord. <sighs> By the way, how long have we been here now? Ah, uh, just over half an hour, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 we're getting on. I'll have some more coffee. Well, I'm afraid there's none of that left either. What do you mean? You've drunk it all. Well, I'm most dreadfully sorry, my lord, but I suffer from a nervous thirst. Oh, really? Look, I only had one cup. 
Well, you did have most of the sandwiches. Uh, uh, now, don't try to be petty, Luke. Well, I'm sorry, my lord, I'm sorry. No. Well, I suppose all we can do now is to sit here and wait until morning. <laughs> I spy with my little eye. <laughs> well, 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 Luke, well. <laughs> No, 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 it's just a game. You see, you say the first letter, and the other person has to guess the odds. Newt, we are not here to play childish games. Well, I'm so sorry, Lord. I thought it would pass the time. Oh. Right, I'll begin. I spy with my little eye something beginning with T. T. Oh, now, huh. T, 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 T. Oh, Tim Parnham. Tim who? <laughs> Tim Parnham, my lord. It's the space between the lintel of a doorway and the arch over it. Over there, do you see? Wrong. Oh, dear. Let me see. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, tracery? Yes, tracery. That perpendicular tracery there. Wrong. Give up? No, 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 not yet, my lord. No, no, no. <laughs> T.T. Tra transom. With the transom of that window. Wrong. Now do you give up? Well, I'm afraid so, my lord. Yes, it's too difficult for me. Time. What, my lord? Time. I'm well. Oh, in that corner over there. No, I, no, I don't think it is, my lord. No, I think it's just chickweed. No, no. <laughs> the time. Eleven o'clock, midnight, half past four. But that's when not it... an object. It's supposed to be an object. Oh, really? Well, it's a very trivial game anyway. <sighs> what are you doing? Reading, my lord. You can't read in this light. Oh, yes, I can, my lord. I say you can't. Well, I, I certainly can't. Sure, you that I can, my lord. I promise I can. Mm. Listen, the apparition said to haunt the cathedral at St. Ogg's is the spectre of an ancient crusader. This eldritch ghoul in this helmet and cloak stalks the cloisters at night, striking fear into the hearts of all those unlucky enough to behold him. The first warning of his approach is said to be the noise of his great sword dragging over the echoing stones. There you are. You see, I can read perfectly. <laughs> what, 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 my lord? Don't you hear it? Go on. That noise. Ah. Uh, what, 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 what is it, my lord? What, what, what does it sound like to you? Well, it sounds. It sounds. Yes. Like a great sword dragging over the echoing stones. Oh, look, 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 look. On the other side, the voice of the Lord. He's turning the corner. He's coming towards us. It's the figure in the helmet with the cloak. Oh, it's the old crusader. What? No. Well, well, well. There, my Lord, over there, 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 there. Oh, nonsense, Newt. It's the archdeacon. The archdeacon. Yes, don't let him walk over that flower. Well, how can I stop him? Well, shout to him quickly. Oh, right, right, right. Get there, get there. Don't come any farther, Archdeacon. Stop, stop, Henry. Oh, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Uh, I'm not a ghost. I say, well, what's all this mess on the ground? Oh, Henry, what have you done? You've ruined the most effective ghost-detecting device yet thought of. Oh, what, what, what's that? Flower, Henry, flower. He is for footprints, Archdeacon. I mean, have you ever heard of a ghost leaving footprints? Oh, do shut up, Newt. <laughs> That's not the most effective device. Oh, what is then? Oh, what I've got here. What's that? Oh, well, a reel of black cotton. Oh? Yeah, you tie it across the ghost's path, and if he breaks it, oh, he's no ghost. Of course! Splendid! Here, Newt, get on with it. Oh, right here, my boy. Now, come and sit down here. Henry. Oh, thank you, Bishop. Tell me... Why are you wearing a balaclava helmet and carrying a stirrup pump? Well, Bishop, it's a, it's a hangover from my fire-watching days. Your fire-watching days? Yes, I wore this old balaclava and carried this stirrup pump round the cathedral night after night during the war. Carried it round? But what was the good of that? Well, I never discovered. The trouble was Prebendary Potter. <laughs> he was issued with a bucket. And as we were on duty alternate nights... Oh, yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, why have you brought it tonight? No, oh, well, I, I thought it might come in handy. Is there any food left? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. A nuke's drank all the coffee. Never mind, Bishop. I brought you the evening paper and a little something. Oh, you have. Oh, dear old Henry. You can always be relied upon. We can use the cups as glasses. Uh, here we are. Uh, What's that? A, a, a bag of mixed nuts. Oh, <laughs> really, is it? Yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, I've done it, my lord. I'm afraid I've used up all your cotton, Archdeacon. Oh, uh, well, never mind, Newt, no, never mind. Bishop. Yes, Henry? Uh, shouldn't we extinguish the lantern? Uh, Whatever for? Uh, well, well, won't you put him off? 
Uh, our spiritual visitor. Oh, we hadn't thought of that, had we, my lord? I can't sit here in the dark. I mean, I, I mean Newt gets so nervous. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's quite a bright moon. Mm, very well. Turn it out, Newt. Um, down, my lord? Out. Oh, yes, my lord. Oh. Oh, it's noticeably darker. Mm. <laughs> what? What's that? What? That, 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 that's rustling. Well, I can't hear anything. Can you, Henry? Uh, well, what's that, Bishop? Can you hear a noise? Uh, no. It stopped. Oh, well, you must have imagined it, Newt. Don't you think so, Henry? Definitely. Uh, would you like a peanut, Newt? Uh, no, thank you, Archie. Oh, Bishop? No, thank you, Henry. <laughs> there it is again. Oh, probably it's a mouse. A mouse? No. <laughs> standing up on that seat. Mice, my lord. I'm not very fond of mice. I meant really note there aren't any mice. Well, are you sure, my lord? Of course I am. I realised what the noise was. It was Henry rustling his bag of mixed nuts. Oh, sorry, Bishop. I should think so too, Henry. Now, come on, Luke. Get down. Get yes, down. Lord. Yes, of course. Yes. If you're as nervous as that, you'd better come and sit in the middle. Oh. Uh, yes, yes. Come on. Come on, old chap. Right. Now, then. Oh. now we, must, we must all keep very quiet <laughs> because it's very nearly midnight. Tis now the very witching hour of night when graveyards yawn and hell itself... Precisely, Henry. <laughs> so let's keep quiet. Sorry, my lord. Uh, quiet, Henry. Newt! Stop fidgeting! No, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, my lord, but I, I wish I hadn't drunk all that coffee. I mean... Serves you right. Greed, Newt, greed, I've told you before. Yes, my lord, yes. yes. <laughs> my lord? What is it now? I'm afraid I'm going to disappear. What? <laughs> I mean, it's the coffee. Eh? Oh, really? Well, hurry up. Yes, my lord. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, stop! Uh, what, what, what? Uh, the, the cotton. Oh, yes, my word. You mustn't break the cotton. We haven't got any more. You just have to wait till the morning. But, but, but I can't. Oh, really? Well, you just have to crawl underneath it. But I can't see where I put it now. Then you'll have to crawl the whole length of the cloisters on your stomach. <laughs> on thy belly shalt thou go. Eh, hey, Henry? <laughs> yes. Genesis 3.14. Oh, dear, but I suppose I must. Well, um, goodbye. <laughs> oh. uh, what's the matter now, Newt? Why have you come back? Well, it's no good. I can't go. Why ever not? Well, the moon. The moon, look, it's just gone behind, behind the cloud and everything's so frightfully dark. Well, you better just sit down again, Newt. Yes, I'd better. No, I can't. No, I must go. I... <laughs> well, what shall I do? <laughs> Would you like me to go with you? Oh, Archdeacon, would you? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you'll be all right. Uh, won't, uh, won't you, Bishop? Me? me? <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I mean, you won't be frightened, will you? Oh. Even though you're alone and it's midnight and, uh, well, there's no moon. I Oh, well, 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 well Henry. Uh, splendid. I, come I, on, Newt, come oh. on. Where's this cotton? Well, I'm coming, Archdeacon. We'll be back as soon as we can, my lord. My oh, word, these stones are awful hard on the knees, aren't they? <laughs> oh, midnight. Oh, dear me. I'm very fortunate there are no such things as ghosts. All the same. From ghoulies and ghosties and long-legged beasties and things that go bump in the night, good Lord, deliver us. <laughs> <laughs> enough haunting for one night. Oh, it's lonely work being a ghost. Five o'clock. Dear me, late again. This won't do. That's the second time this century. <laughs> Hello, what's this rotten house? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no, 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 I'm not, I'm not asleep. I'm not asleep. I just, just close my eyes for a moment. 
Hey, oh, oh. <laughs> Virgil. Good morning, Your Lordship. Uh, morning? What's the time? It's just struck five, I'm afraid. Has it by Joe? Newt! Henry! Come along, wake up, wake up, wake up. Uh, uh, what, what's the time? Just Lord? five o'clock. Uh, uh, seen anything, Bishop? Uh, Oh, no, no, not a thing, not a thing. But you were supposed to finish your tour of duty at three, my lord. Why didn't you wake me? Uh, oh, um, uh, yes, well, 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 you see, you look so comfortable. I didn't like to. Oh, sorry, Bishop. Oh, my word, it's cold. Oh, who's that? A verger, of course. What's he look like? Uh, oh, oh, good morning, verger. Good morning, Mr. Archdeacon. Uh, I, I don't think I've seen you before here, have I? Uh, are you new? New? Me? I've been around here for years. Oh, ah, uh, permanently on nights, eh? Oh, I say, please, can we go home? I'm, I'm so cold. Yes, it's absolutely oh. easy. Aren't you cold, Virgil? Oh, no, Your Lordship, I don't feel the cold. My word, look at the time. Oh, yes, 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 we must go. Come on, Newt, pick up those things. Well, I can't, my hands are numb. Oh, really? Why didn't you bring some gloves? Well, I did, my lord. I brought my little mittens and you took them. You said you'd get chilled then, so you had to have them. <laughs> That was when you took my ballot to offer. Oh, yes, well, we don't want to go into that. <laughs> now, now, would you mind picking them up, Virgil? Me? Oh, certainly, Your Lordship. I, I expect you were surprised to see us here. Well, now you mention it. I've been conducting a little experiment. Mm, oh, yes. Yeah, that's everything. Here you are. Thank you. You are going now, aren't you? Uh, well, yes, all right. Yes, come along, Henry. A hot bath call. My word, yes. Thank you, Verger. Good morning. Good morning, Your Lordship. Oh, 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 just a moment. What? What is it, my lord? Have you seen the ghost? Yes, Newt. I believe I have. Verger. Yes, Your Lordship. You say you've been on night duty here for some years. That's right, Your Lordship. Well, well. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to none other than the ghost of St. Albans. How do you do? Oh, oh, my lord, do you mean he's... Oh, some... no, really. I mean that this verger in his black cloak is the person everybody's been seeing. Oh. Do you know that you have been terrorising the close? No, have I really? Really must be more careful in the future. Yes, all right, I will be, thank you. Now, I must be on my way, it's getting a bit late, so if you'll excuse me... Oh, 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 verger! Yes, your lordship. Don't go walking through too many walls, will you? Of course not. I only walk through this one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Henry? The verger's got a sense of humour. He certainly has, <laughs> Bishop. Who oh, hasn't he, my lord? Yes, come on, we'd better go. Well, what's funny about that? Well, time to go, time to disappear. Well... It's nice to be out of those drafty cloisters. Oh, it certainly is, my lord. And we have proved what I've always known. What's that, Bishop? There are definitely no such things as ghosts. In that episode of All Gas and Gators, the parts were played as follows. The Archdeacon, Robertson Hare, the Bishop, William Mervyn, the Bishop's Chaplain, the Reverend Newt, Derek Nemo, the Dean, John Barron, Mrs. Pugh Critchley, Joan Sanderson, the Ghost, Gerald Cross, Scam, Ronald Forfar. The Bishop Sees a Ghost was written for television and adapted for radio by Pauline Devaney and Edwin Apps. The program was produced by David Hatch. present All Gas and Gators. Episode 6, Only Three Can Play. Starring Robertson Hare, William Mervyn, Derek Nimmo and John Barron. It's Thursday evening, and in the study of the palace, the archdeacon, the bishop, and his chaplain sit around a table playing the railway game. My word, I enjoy these Thursday evenings, Henry. Uh, me too, bishop. I look forward to them all the week. 
Just the three of us sitting here. You know, I was trying to remember what we did before we invented this game, and you know I couldn't. It's your turn, Newt. Here's the dice. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Who? Oh, four? Which is your engine? Oh, the diesel, my lord. Well, come on, move it along four squares. I think, oh, one, two, three, four. What does it say? Ah, uh, oh, stations. Ha ha, here we go. <laughs> Can you hand me the departure pack, Archdeacon? Rather, Newt. Uh, take the top card. Thank you. Oh, what station are you leaving from, Newt? King's Lynn. Ah, Lord. that's in Norfolk. Where are you going to? Yeah, here's the destination pack, Newt. Oh, thank you very much, Archdeacon. Oh, I've got to go to Welshpool in Montgomeryshire. King's Lynn to Welshpool, right across the country. That's a nasty one. Come on, shake up. Oh, I hope I don't get one. Oh, you'll be sunk if you do. You'll never manage that journey with only one change. No, you'll need four at least. <laughs> Oh, five, my luck's in. From King's Lynn to Welshpool with five changes. Now, let me see. Via Birmingham and Shrewsbury, I suppose, yes. Well done. Now, here we go. King's Lynn to Cambridge, of course. I think I'd better make an early start. I'd say you'd better. You'll never oh, do it in a day. The 7.31 from King's Lynn to Cambridge arrives at 8.40. Wrong. Oh, sorry, sorry. 8.41, yes. Oh, <laughs> I thought you got off the rails yeah, there. Five changes, five changes. <laughs> five changes, oh, dear. Uh, you, you, mm. You've got one. No, Bedford, no, that's no good. No, no. The Danbury. Uh, splendid. You're doing well. <laughs> that's three. Oh, thank you. The 11.18 from Cambridge to Banbury arriving at 3.17. Mm, that's two and a half hours wait at Cambridge. You can't afford many like that. Well, then Bambridge to Birmingham, of course. Yes, the 3.31 arriving at 4.26. Which station? Snow Hill, my lord. Mm. Oh, one of my favourites. You're in terrific form. Now, two to go. Now, I've got to improvise a bit around there. Fire Stafford. Yes, that's it. From Staff to Shrewsbury. Right now, I want something from Birmingham to Stafford. From Snow Hill? Certainly not, my lord, from New Street. Ah, uh, the 450 from New Street arriving at Stafford at 545. Oh, colossal. <laughs> That's four changes, only one to go. Now it's 545 and I'm in Stafford. Let's hope the buffet's open. <laughs> oh, I know. The 6.56 to Shrewsbury, arriving at 9 p.m. That's done it. I'm afraid you've had it, Newt. Oh. You'll never get a train out of Shrewsbury to Welshpool at that time of night. I oh, warned you, you couldn't afford to hang about. Oh, dear, dear. Pipped, pipped at the post. Oh, bad luck. You oh. miss a turn. Bad luck. Now it's me. What about the 9.42? Hey, well, what about it? There's a 9.42 from Shrewsbury to Welshpool. I don't believe it. Would you care to challenge me, my lord? Here's the timetable. Uh, oh, well, uh, um, I, um... You, uh... You miss a turn if he's right, Bishop. Oh, well, I suppose it's just possible. It leaves Paddington from number two platform at 4.10 and arrives at Shrewsbury at 9.40. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that doesn't stop at Wellspool. But it does, it does. To set down only. Oh, oh, yes, so it does. Ah, but you have to give notice to the guard at Shrewsbury. I intend to do that, my lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shake up and let's get on. Three. One, two, three. You have missed your connection. Oh. Spend the night in the waiting room and lose a turn. How wrong. Ah. <laughs> Bad luck, Newt. Now it's my turn. I must say, you know, we've really got this game right now, haven't we? It works so oh. splendidly. Uh -huh. A three. <laughs> now I move my engine on. One, two, three. You've caught the Pullman Express. Move on six squares. Oh, you I see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't see what it says. Can you, Henry? You had lunch at crew, food poisoning, missed two turns. Bad <laughs> <laughs> luck, Bishop. Uh, now it's my turn. Oh, well. Hey, yeah, but before you go on, Henry, just go and see if there's any more coffee in the jug, will you, Ah, uh, Yes, my lord. Oh, dear, we uh, appear to finish it, I'm afraid. Oh, dear, sorry about that, Henry. Oh, that's all right, Bishop. Uh, sh shall we make some more, Newt? Ah, uh, well, we could, my lord, I suppose. Have we got enough milk, Newt? Ah, uh, yes, my lord, yes. Newt! Ah, uh, yes, my lord. What are you doing? Oh, um, I'm so sorry, my lord, I was just looking out of the window. Not at that young woman, I trust. Uh, no, my lord, but at least she does happened to be out there. <laughs> <laughs> a young, a young woman? Oh, 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 where? Sit down, Henry. <laughs> it's only the girl whose mother's taken Canon Prosser's house. Luke seems to spend his entire time staring at her. Oh, uh, I, I don't wonder, Bishop. She's got something worth staring at. Henry! <laughs> 
Oh, I'm surprised at you noticing such things at your age. <laughs> sure, but you can't help noticing, my lord. It sticks out a mile. <laughs> here, here. Steady on there, steady Loot. on. Really, please remember that you're a clergyman. Well, of course, my lord, but why shouldn't a clergyman be interested in vintage cars? Yes. Vintage cars? Oh, yes, my lord, she's got the best one I've ever seen, hasn't she, Archdeacon? Yeah, if you say so. I hadn't noticed her car. <laughs> Well, I don't care what attraction she may have. Will you please stop looking at her? Well, I have, my lord. Yes, she's gone into the house. Good. Then perhaps we can get on with the game. Yes, my lord. Oh, look. Uh, has she come out again? Sit down, Henry. <laughs> Lute, you heard what I said. Oh, but it's the dean, my lord. The, the dean? What's he doing? I don't know. He's got a tape measure and he's on his knees measuring something. Oh. He's looking up there. Well, come away from the window, Newt. The last thing we want on a Thursday evening is to be interrupted by the dean. Well, of course not, my lord. I, I don't think he saw me. Good. Now, Henry, it's your turn, isn't it? It certainly is, Bishop. Right. Here's the dice. Oh, you know, I must say this is all very pleasant, Henry. <laughs> indeed, indeed, Bishop. Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Are you not? Oh, yes, Archdeacon. It's like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even upon Aaron's oh, beard. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Psalm 133. Now, come on, Henry. For goodness sake, don't hold us up any longer. We haven't got all night. Who on earth can that be? Are you expecting anyone, Newt? Ah, uh, no, my lord. Oh, no. Ah, one free evening interrupting the game like this. Somebody's been very thought. Well, I'll see who it is, my lord. What have you got, Henry? A uh, one. After all that shaking? Mm, I forgot to blow on it. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, come on, move on your engine. What does it say? Uh, you've been caught travelling in a first-class carriage with a second-class ticket. You are disqualified. <laughs> Dean, my lord. Good evening, my lord. Oh, oh, Dean. <laughs> Good evening, Dean. Ah, gambling, Archdeacon. Gambling, certainly not. We're playing an innocent game of our own devices. A game of chance, I suppose. On the contrary, a game of skill. It's taken us three years to perfect, Dean. No thought of it. Well, I suppose he did have the initial idea that, happily, I was able to develop. You see, the essence is that you take a card from each pack and they each have the name of a station on them. Then you have to work out a journey between the stations with a certain number of changes. And you have to know the times of all the trains in the British Isles. By heart. Both summer and winter services. Uh, how do you decide on the number of changes required? You throw a dice. Ah, oh, as I said, game of chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> May I ask to what we owe the pleasure of this visit? Our Thursday evenings are sacrosanct. I'm aware of that, my lord. However, when I tell you that lawlessness is stalking the cathedral close, I think you will permit my intrusion. Lawlessness? I have just witnessed five cases of law-breaking. D. Is it uh, uh, an inside job? <laughs> it is, Archdeacon, and you are one of the culprits. Me? Henry, you can't be serious. The Archdeacon? What's he done? His offence is vehicular. Oh, is that bad? <laughs> it relates to your vehicle. In the course of my evening stroll, I have observed no less than five motors, each one parked within four feet of a fire hydrant, and in such a manner as to obscure it from view. And you've come to warn Henry? No! I have come to tell him to move his motor immediately. But, but I can't leave the game. I'm afraid you must. Why must I? Because you are contravening section 402, subsection 89C of the local bylaw. It's not your evening, is it, Henry? <laughs> no, Bishop, it isn't. I now have to see the young woman whose mother has taken Canon Prosser's house over the road. She, too, is a culprit. However, I am in some difficulty here, as I am not acquainted with this young lady. Well? <laughs> well, I should not like to be thought officious. No, perish the thought. <laughs> So I wondered whether, my lord, as she is a neighbour of yours, you would care to point out the infringement. Me? In my position? Go to a stranger? It's certainly not. Uh, could Newt go? Oh, that's different. Uh. Newt, you slip across to our new neighbour and tell her she's upset the dean, won't you? Tell her that she has contravened a bylaw. No, 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 no I can't. No, please don't ask me, my lord. What? Please. Why not? Well, I'm, I, I, I haven't been introduced. Well, introduce yourself. Oh, well, I couldn't, my lord. No, I really couldn't. Newt, do as I say at once. My lord, I... Newt, do as I say. Oh, yes, my lord. Yes, yes. Are you really sure you want me to go? Well, haven't I just said so? Well, I only hope, my lord, that you won't live to regret this moment. What a very curious thing to say. 
Well, Dean, let me show you one. One moment, my lord. Yes. This game. Well, what about it? It interests me. Oh, yes, well, it's a very good game. Now, Dean, as I, I was, should uh, like to stay and watch you play it. Uh, oh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Oh, well, we, 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 we can't play without Newt. Oh, well, in that case, did you have I shall coat? await his return. <laughs> oh, will you? Yes, I shall sit here in his chair. Oh, I couldn't be more delighted. <laughs> It's you. Hello. Ha, 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 hello. I, um... <laughs> yes? Ah, uh, the, 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 the uh, bishop, he, uh, you see, I'm... Yes, I know. You're the bishop's chaplain, aren't you? Yes. Well, the dean, the, um, the dean, um, well, the dean... No, I'm afraid I don't know the dean. Is he nice? No. Oh, well, I mean... I don't... <laughs> your car, your, your, your car, um... Oh, your... do you like it? Oh, yes, tell me, is it the 1922 or the 1923 model? <laughs> it's the 1923. It was my grandmother's. Look, why don't you come in? Oh, I say, may I, Red? Oh, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Porfley. Oh, look, Dean, as Newt has been such a long time, wouldn't you like to go home? I should prefer to wait. Pretty. <laughs> I have an idea. Yes. Why don't you teach me the rules of the game? Then, when Newt returns, I shall be able to take a more active part. Oh, but I, but, but, but I thought you only wanted to watch. I have never relished the role of spectator. No, oh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Indeed? Why is it impossible? Uh, because only three can play. <laughs> oh, oh, good, look, look. It looks as though Newt has been successful. Mm. Yes, she's getting into her car, do you see? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But uh, why is Newt getting in too? Oh, well, I expect he's going to... Uh, he's going to show her where to park, Henry. Uh, yes, there they go. But, uh, but, but why, uh, why aren't they parking outside the chapter office? I always do. Because, as I am constantly reminding you, Archdeacon, it is strictly forbidden. But, look, they're not parking anywhere. They've driven out through Pilgrim's Gateway. They're going into the town. Henry, what is Newt doing? Does he think he's doing? He's rather messed up things, Bishop. Messed us up? He's ruined our whole evening. Not entirely, my lord. What do you mean, not entirely? How can we play without Newt? You can't play with only two, Dean. Precisely, gentlemen, but we are three. Yes, my lord, yes. Is that you? Ah, yes, my lord, yes. Where have you been? Ah, out, my lord. Out. Out. How dare you? I send you on a simple errand, and the next thing I see is you driving about quite irresponsibly with a young woman, and then to come creeping in at this time, you realise it's midnight. Is it really? Oh, hasn't the time passed quickly? Hey. <laughs> quickly? It may have done for you. The Archdeacon and I were left to play the game with the Dean. Oh, I'm sorry, Marie. I suppose he was rather bad at it, really. On the contrary, he won all four games. <laughs> well, sure, he didn't know the times of all the trains of the British Army. Well, of course he didn't. But he altered the rules so much that they ceased to matter. <laughs> oh, really, Luke, your behaviour is unforgivable. Where have you been? Well, Christine and I. Who? Oh, Miss Buckley. Uh, her mother's taken Canon Prosser's house opposite. We went to the cinema. She took me in her car and we saw the sound of music. Oh, it was wonderful. You should see it. No, I don't want to. Not. But it's all about a Miss Judy Andrews, do you see, my lord? She's a nun, and she stands on a hill, and she sings all about her favourite things. Kittens, whiskers, and brown paper parcels, and <laughs> having snow on her eyebrows. And You see, there are all these other nuns. Oh, I see. An R.C. film. <laughs> No, it was, it's lovely. Oh, well, I'm going to bed. You will go into the study and check tomorrow's engagements. Oh, engagements. Ah, loot. Ah, yes, my lord, yes. Do you understand what I say? Oh, yes, my lord, yes. About what? <laughs> Good night, loot. Ah, thank you so much, my lord. Oh, excuse me. Where are you going? Oh, just up to the landing window. The landing window? Whatever for? Well, I promised Christine to blow her a goodnight kiss. Oh. <laughs> Where 
well of the Countess, Henry. I've got the steam in the electric, Bishop. Haven't you got the diesel? Oh, yes, here it is. Uh, Have you shuffled? Uh, no, 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 Newt usually does that. Uh, don't mention that broken reed. Oh, isn't he any better? Better. Christine Buckley and the Sound of Music. That's all I hear. I'm told it's a very good film. <laughs> My Mrs. Banner, oh, she's seen it twice. Twice? That's nothing. He's seen it every night this week. <laughs> it's turned his brain. I asked him to type my address to the Ordinans, and when I got up to read it, I heard myself saying, Let us never forget the things that the blessed St. Augustine held most dear. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. <laughs> He's not going to see it again tonight, is he? And miss the game? Oh, I think you can take it from me, Henry, that even Newt is not completely abandoned. <laughs> Just off, my lord. Uh, off? Off where? Uh, to meet Christine, my lord. I'm taking her to the Sound of Music. You what? Not? Don't you know what today is? Ah, uh, yes, Thursday, my lord. It's awfully good. Have you seen it, Archdeacon? Oh, uh, no, no, but Mrs. Banner's been twice. But, but, but what about the railway game? Well, I'm sorry, my lord. I try not to be too late. I've never seen such selfishness. I say, old chap, uh, don't desert us. But I promised Christine. Oh, this has gone far enough. Newt, as your bishop, I solemnly forbid you to... What have you got round your neck? Here it's um, a flowery scarf, my lord. Uh, Christine made it for me, isn't it pretty? Pretty? It's grotesque. Take it off at once. It makes you look like the outside of a seed packet. <laughs> oh, what a spiteful thing to say. But well, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going this very moment. Excuse me, my lord. You're standing in the way. Stop, Newt, stop. I won't allow no, you. No. Newt, Newt. Oh, come back. Newt, come oh, back, oh, I say. No, 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 no. Look here, you chaps. No, 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 no. Pax, Pax. Ah. If you go, Newt, I shall take it as your formal resignation from your post as my chap. Well, that is your privilege, my lord. You'll find your hot cocoa in the thermos. Good night, Archdeacon. <laughs> All right, go. Go to your Delilah. Ooh, wretched, feeble boy. And on a Thursday, too. She's an attractive little thing, though. Uh, <laughs> attractive? She's not my idea of a woman, Henry. Isn't she? No, no. If ever this heart has felt a flutter, and there have been moments, I do confess it, Henry, it's been on account of a real woman, some little feminine person, warm, loving, and thoroughly domestic. Don't you agree? Well, I like a woman with spirit. Amy Johnson and Dusty Springfield. <laughs> uh, if that's Newt, don't let him in. Uh, uh, but, but if he's repented, Bishop... Well, he's not getting any forgiveness from me. Tell him I've made other arrangements. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Still, if that's what you want... I do, Henry, I do. So be it, then. I'll just open the door. Uh, oh, no, I won't. <laughs> Henry, what's the matter? Uh, it's the dean. He's outside. The dean? Yes. What does he want on a Thursday evening? He must have come to play the game. Oh, no, we can't have another evening like last week. There's only one way to stop him. What's that? Uh, well, get Newt back. Remember, only three can play. No, Henry, no. My pride would not permit. But, but think of last week, Bishop. Uh, yes, well, I suppose pride is a sin, isn't it? Yes, Henry, I tell you what. You hold the fort, and I'll slip round the back way. Right, good luck, Bishop. Take uh, just coming. Uh, Archdeacon. Oh, oh Dean, <laughs> is it you? May I ask why you shut the door in my face? Oh, oh so sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh? <laughs> oh, may I ask who you thought I was? Uh, the man from the Pru. <laughs> Your briefcase, you know. Really? Well, you'll be pleased to hear that I enjoyed myself so much last week that I have decided to come and play with you again. Oh, that's jolly. <laughs> Oh, it isn't really, is it? Oh, you're not, are you? I am the Bishop of St. Augs, madam. Oh, how lovely. Oh, do come in, won't you? Well, I... Uh, um, 
Are you a Miss Butler? Oh, no, no. I'm her mother. Really? Well, well. If I may say so, you look hardly old. Oh, Bishop. Oh, how very nice. What a charming thing to say. Do come in, won't well, you? Well, madam, I... Come in, come well, in. Well, I've come to retrieve my chaplain. Oh, dear Mervyn. I was just mending his socks. Oh, so I see. What a beautiful dog. Oh. <laughs> uh, I-, I love doing little things for him. He's such a sweet boy. Sweet? Well, well... <laughs> Christine! Christine is so fond of him. He's taking her to the Sound of Music again this evening. Do you know, he's quite dotty about that film. The very word I would have used. <laughs> I hear it's very good. Have you seen it? No, madam, I have not. As a matter of fact... You want to, I know. So do I. They've asked me to go with them, but but between ourselves, I felt I, I didn't want to play gooseberry. Well, well, do go into the sitting room. Christine and dear Mervyn are in there. <laughs> Thank you, madam. <laughs> Newt. Hey, my lord, yes? Are you surprised to see me, Newt? Ah, uh, yes, my lord. Very. Um... Do you know, Chris, uh, I mean, Miss Butler? No. How do you do, young lady? <laughs> Hello, Bishop. This is a surprise. I don't doubt it. Newt. Yes, my lord. Do you know why I am here? Ah, uh, no, my lord. Yes. I am here because... You want to see the sound of music. Uh, <laughs> well, 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 I... I the bishop's uh... been telling me how much he wants to see the sound of music. Madam, oh, I... smashing! What a super idea! You can bring Mummy. She's been wanting to see it for ages. Oh, why don't you, my lord, who make us such a change from the railway game? Oh, oh, Bishop, would you? Well, madam, frankly, I... I should love to. <laughs> However, there is one small problem. What small problem is that, my lord? A small, bald problem. Will the bishop and his chaplain be much longer, Archdeacon? No, 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 uh, they'll be back any minute, Mm. Dean. I've given this game some thought during the week. Oh, oh dear. I mean, oh, oh, have you? Yes, as a result, I have entirely rewritten the rule book. (laughs) I have it here in my briefcase. I've introduced a great many more penalties. I think you will find it much more fun. Hmm. The track will have to be considerably altered, of course. But it's taken us three years. There's always room for improvement, Archdeacon. Oh, oh, oh. what was that? Only a car starting. Oh, 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 shouldn't we see who it is? Stay where you are, Archdeacon. I will go to the window. You study those new rules. How strange. Strange? What is, Dean? You seem to be misinformed, Archdeacon. The bishop and his chaplain will not be back. Oh, of course they will. They wouldn't leave me here with the... I mean, uh, without them. (laughs) Then why have they just driven off in a motor with women? Women? Well, let me see. Look, they're just going through the Pilgrim's Gate. No, but they they can't. I say, chaps, it's it's not cricket. (laughs) It seems that we shall have to play the game by ourselves, Archdeacon. Only three can play. Only three could play, Archdeacon. That is another of my improvements. No, no, Archdeacon, you can't do that. Uh, but, but surely I, I'm allowed a move sometimes. No, not until I tell you. But, 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 <laughs> we've been playing for 20 minutes and you, you had it all the time. That is because I threw a six. You failed to throw a six, so you are naturally penalised. But I don't seem to be able to do anything right. Mm. <laughs> Whose fault is that? What was that? Stop fidgeting. I thought I heard a car. Really, Archdeacon, you thought you heard at least a dozen cars. But I'm sure I did. There it is. It is a car. I knew it. Who do you think he heard us, my lord? I don't know, Newt. Could you blow it again, my dear? Of course, Bishop. Ah, that should do it. Oh, yes, look, my lord, he's looking out of the window. Splendid. Now, the problem is to communicate. What can we do, Bishop? Point to the fire hydrant, dear lady. We must all point to the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant? Whatever for? Henry will understand. Well, I'm pointing, my lord. So am I, Bishop. Oh, he's seeing us look. Oh, he's giving us a thumbs up. Splendid. Now we must just sit tight 
and see what happens. Well, Archdeacon, was it a car? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Dean. Then come and sit down. You're interfering with my concentration. Mm. <coughs> uh, Dean. Oh, yes, Archdeacon, what is it now? Uh, I've suddenly remembered. What have you suddenly remembered? Uh, well, I've suddenly remembered uh, I've left my car in front of the fire hydrant uh, again. Have you? Mm. Uh, yeah, yes, I must go and move it at once. But you can't leave the game. I'm afraid I must. Why must you? Uh, well, no, yeah, because I, I, I'm contravening section 402, <laughs> subsection 89, and the C of the local bylaws. Uh, good night, Dean. <laughs> He shouldn't be long now. Well, I do hope not, my lord. The film starts in ten minutes. Here he comes. Look, he's running. Well done, Henry. You've made it. Oh, come along, Archdeacon. Oh, oh, oh Bishop. Uh, am I fair to see you? Uh, he's rewritten the rule book. But he can't. Oh, never mind, Archdeacon. You're coming with us. We're going to see the sound of music now. Do you know Mrs. Buckley and her daughter? Oh, uh... How do you do? How do you do? Come on, let's go. Jump into the car, Archdeacon. But I can't. Why not, Henry? Well, I, I can't play Gooseberry. It's not done, you know. Oh, don't worry, Henry. You won't. No, Archdeacon. May I introduce you to my grandmother? We've been <laughs> to fetch her for you. How do you do, Archdeacon? I hear you're taking me to the cinema. Delighted, madam, delighted. <laughs> My word, I haven't been to the cinema since they showed the life of Amy Johnson. Amy Johnson? <laughs> she was my dearest friend. Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh, do you, do you, by any chance, know uh, uh, Dusty Springfield? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Archdeacon, jump up, and all we shall miss the film. Yes, Henry, it's not the game, but at least six can play. In that episode of All Gas and Gators, the parts were played as follows. The Archdeacon, Robertson Hare, the Bishop, William Mervyn, the Bishop's Chaplain, the Reverend Newt, Derek Nimmo, the Dean, John Barron, Christine, Elizabeth Proud, Mrs. Buckley, Sonia Fraser, Granny, Eva Stewart. Only Three Can Play was written for television and adapted for radio by Pauline Devaney and Edwin Apps. The program was produced by David Hatch. present All Gas and Gators. Episode 7, The Dean Goes Primitive. Starring Robertson Hare, William Mervyn, Derek Nimmo and John Barron. It's Sunday morning, and in the choir of the ancient cathedral of St. Ogg's, the dean is preaching. And so, we see throughout the history of the primitive church, according not only to the testimony of Eusebius of Caesarea, and to some extent, Socrates Solasticus, but also from the writings of such popular authors as Hermias, Zizermanus, Theodoret, not to mention Lactantius. In the cushioned seclusion of his the curtain Odorate throne, the bishop listens Lysitorius. attentively. Severus Alicius, <laughs> Ephragius, all be and venerable be. In all mm. these authors we find the same mm. emphasis on simplicity. Stark, joyous simplicity. It was both the keynote and the watchword of the primitive church. Archdeacon, yeah, even in Archdeacon, times, what? What, what, what note? To find that hearing aid a hell? What hearing aid? Well, that thing you've got stuck in your ear with a wire. This? Oh, this isn't a hearing aid. Listen. Oh, Moses. It's my new transistor. My aunt gave it to me for my birthday. Is this simplicity today? Alas, we find little evidence of it in this cathedral. Everywhere comfort, luxury, Ooh. and opulence abound. We must pronounce it. We must mm. return to simplicity, the star joyous. Come on, 
Henry. I've just opened the front door. <sighs> there. Do you smell that, Henry? My word, yes. Know what it is? Your dreams again? Dreams? <laughs> oh, really, Henry? Can't you forget you're an archdeacon for five minutes? That's the smell of a most beautiful 12 pound salmon roasting. <laughs> I caught it myself yesterday. But Newt said that you'd gone to the House of Lords. Ah, that's what he believes, but between ourselves, I decided to do something useful instead. By the way, <laughs> where is Newt? He was just behind us when we left the cathedral. Oh, Henry, that reminds me. The sermon. Can you tell me what it was about? A uh, certain bishop. Sex before marriage. It was... <laughs> it was instructive. I learned a lot. The dean... <laughs> the dean preached on sex before marriage? I don't believe it. Oh, not the dean. The Bishop of Kingston. Henry, Henry, I may have failed to grasp the content of the sermon, <laughs> but not the identity of the preacher. And it certainly wasn't the Bishop of Kingston. Oh, it was St. Paul's. The reception was excellent. I heard every word on this. What's that? Oh, my new transistor. My aunt gave it to me for my birthday. Your aunt gave you a thing like that? Last year, she gave me a new hairbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I shall always be a boy to her. Care to listen? No, thank you. I expect it will still be family favourites. Yes. Yes, the sun is shining in Montreal, but they're expecting a storm. Mm. And they're not the only ones. What shall I do if he asks me what I thought of his sermon? Oh, can't you get Newt to tell you? Oh, I don't like to. You see, he's new to the church. Young, impressionable, easily shocked. After all, Henry, I am his first bishop. What would you have thought if you'd discovered your first bishop had gone to sleep in a sermon? He usually did. <laughs> Can't you ask him tactfully? Yes, well, he looks as though I shall have to. Oh, come on, let's go and have lunch. Uh, you mean now, uh, this minute? Yes, why? Is something wrong? No, Bishop, no. It's just that I rather wanted to do something first. Oh, oh, yes, of course, yes, of course. How, how very thoughtless of me, Henry. Yes, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know where it is, don't you? Uh, yes, <laughs> thank you, Bishop. Shall we long? No, not through here. Why are you going into the study? Uh, to have a sherry, Bishop. Uh, <laughs> I thought you wanted a wash. No, thank you, no. I'm quite clean. <laughs> Cheers, Bishop. Oh, really, Henry? Where are your manners? Oh, Bishop, I am sorry. Uh, do you want one? No, thank you. I still find it possible to eat my midday meal without the aid of alcoholic stimulants. Ah, Newt, ah, at last, where have you been? Well, I'm so sorry, my lord, but I just had to congratulate the dean on his wonderful sermon. Oh, did you? Good. Then you can tell me what it was about. I, 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 I mean, what I mean is, I was unfortunately prevented by the thick curtains round my throne from hearing quite all that the dean said in his discourse this yes, morning. I know, my lord. You went to sleep. <laughs> but you can't see me from where you sit. How could you possibly know I was asleep? Well, the dean told me. Hey. The dean? Yes, he said your mouth was hanging open. Uh, oh. <laughs> Did he? Yes, he also said... I can guess what he also well, said. Well, he took no, the attitude. I the... do not want to know his attitude. Well, I think you. you should know it, my lord. Thank you, Newt, that the dean saw me as sufficiently serious. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> Stop messing about. <laughs> I don't know how they get away with it. <laughs> really, Henry? Henry, will you kindly take that thing out of your ear? <laughs> did, did you speak, Bishop? Oh, <laughs> never mind. You'll just have to tell me what the Dean said over lunch, Newton. If I meet him, I'll brazen it out. Come on, let's go and discuss this salmon. Oh, yes, of course, it's the salmon, isn't it? Do you know, Archdeacon, on his way back from the House of Lords yesterday, the bishop met this nice man on the train who gave him the most lovely salmon, didn't you, my lord? Oh, never mind about all that. <laughs> Just let's go and eat it. Ah, uh, what about now? What do you mean now? Of course I mean now. Well, I rather want to do something first. <laughs> oh, not you too. Well, I'm, I'm so sorry, my lord. I must tell you quite frankly, Newt, I don't expect this sort of thing from my chaplains. It's one thing for the archdeacon at his age. Oh, but, but my lord, I am... Um... It's most self-indulgent. <laughs> and it'll hold up lunch. Well, I, I, I'm sorry if it's inconvenient. It is most. 
I'm afraid I must insist, my lord. <laughs> if you must, you must, I suppose, but I can tell you, Newt, that this is not the path to ecclesiastical preferment. <laughs> well, I never imagined it was, my lord. Where are you going? To the bathroom, of course. <laughs> I thought he wanted a drink. A drink? Oh, thank you, Bishop. Uh, Henry! <laughs> Who could that be? Fancy calling at lunchtime. Oh, don't worry, Bishop. Uh, I'll get rid of them. Henry, do you think you should open the front door with a decanter of sherry in your hand? <laughs> oh, no, no, Bishop. No, you're right. <laughs> if they see this, they'll never go. <laughs> Let me see. I think I think I'll just have a small one. Why not, oh. Bishop? Uh, oh, well, it's only medicinal. Uh, oh, I beg your pardon. What, what's, what's the matter, Henry? Uh, Who is it? Uh, the, the the dean, Bishop. Are you sure? Yes, I saw his knees through the letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, what am I going to do? He knows I slept through his sermon. Don't let him in. Henry, what are you suggesting? Keep quiet and he'll think you're not at home. My dear Henry, are you seriously suggesting that I, your bishop, should practice a miserable, petty deception like that? <laughs> Where shall we hide? <laughs> Let's go into the hall and have a look. What's that noise? A note coming downstairs. Oh, listen to him, the great flat-footed chaplain. <laughs> Let's hope the dean doesn't hear. Newt! Newt! Ah, come in, my lord, come in! Newt, will you please? All right, my lord, Newt! Yes. For goodness sake! Well, I'm going as fast as I can, my lord. Oh, Dean, do come in. Oh. <laughs> my lord, it's the Dean. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Newt. I had begun to think that you were not at home, my lord. Oh, really? Why was that? I've been ringing the bell for several minutes. Oh, it's out of order, I expect. Uh, isn't it, Bishop? Oh, 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 yes, Henry. Yes, of course, I'm afraid it's uh, not working, Dean. Oh, but well, it is, my lord. I heard it clearly upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Newt. Again. Oh, that's all right, my lord. Yeah. I wish to speak to you, my lord. I trust I'm not interrupting anything important. Oh, no, well, Dean, since you mention it, we were just about to have lunch. Good. Nothing important. I'll go into your study. Uh, Henry, go in and talk to him. Me? Talk to the Dean? Alone? Oh, well, what shall I say? Remember Job, chapter 34, verse 33. Speak what thou knowest. I'll try, Bishop. But when I'm with the dean, I never seem to newest anything. <laughs> quick, Newt, quick. What was the sermon about? But he knows you went to sleep, my lord. Nevertheless, please tell me what the sermon was about. Well, mayn't I tell you what he said about you being asleep? If you don't tell me what the sermon was about, he'll do that himself. Quickly, what did he say in his sermon? Ah, oh, well, I shall have to think. Uh, uh, dean. Yes, Archdeacon? Uh, did you know the sun is shining in Montreal? <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yes. Mark you, they're expecting a storm. <laughs> oh, oh, there you are, Dean. Ah, oh, well, what is it? At last, my lord. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dean, but I just had to have a word with my chaplain on a very pressing matter. However, however I am now able to tell you how much I enjoyed your sermon on the primitive church. I listened avidly. You surprised me, my lord. I thought you were asleep. Ah, I wondered if you'd think that. Appearances are so deceptive. No, no, Dean, I merely lured my eyelids as an aid to concentration. I told your chaplain that in your position I too might have gone to sleep. Try asking me a few questions and you'll... What? What was that? Newt, why didn't you tell me this? Well, I tried to, my lord, but you said you only wanted to know about the sermon so that you could pretend that you'd heard. I knew yes, yes. <laughs> Overwhelm me. In all my years toiling in the vineyard, never have I met a finer example of true Christian humility. Humility? I don't understand. Well, to admit that if you had to listen to yourself preaching, even you would have gone to sleep. I said nothing at the time, my yes, lord. Did I hurt you? I, I, I said, my lord, that were I in your position, your physical position, <laughs> lolling among silken cushions on a throne more suited to an Eastern potentate oh. than an Anglican divine, I too might have found it difficult to keep awake. Oh, I see. 
Well, well, Dean, if that's all very interesting, but if you've nothing else to say, we were just on our way into lunch. Yes, so, uh, I have brought this to show you, my lord. Oh, what is it? My wife's freehand drawing of the cathedral interior. Oh, really, really, mm. well, well. <laughs> Henry, what do you think of that? She certainly got a free hand. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes, I see. Uh, where are all the chairs? They have been removed. Removed? Then what does the congregation sit on? The congregation stands. Uh, but, but, but where are the carpets? The memorial packs? What's happened to the painting of old Bishop Hawkins? All gone. It's part of my plan to return to the stark, joyous simplicity of the primitive church. Mm. Oh, doesn't it look nice, my lord? <laughs> nice? It looks as though we've had the bailiffs in. <laughs> and when, may I ask, do you propose to perpetrate this desecration? Unfortunately, it will take several years to clear away all the accumulated rubbish. Oh, well, that's some comfort, I suppose. But stage one will be executed tomorrow morning. Stage one? The removal of the screen behind the altar. Uh, oh, now you've gone too far. The screen behind the altar? That screen was put there for a purpose. Indeed, my lord. What purpose? What purpose? Well, I don't know. But there must have been a purpose. It was probably put there to cover up something. What's behind it? A stone. A stone? Hewn from the living rock. See, here, my, my wife has depicted it in the drawing. That mm. looks like a tea chest. It is the stone on which your great predecessor, my lord, the blessed Bishop Og, sat when the cathedral was first built. He sat on a bare stone? Yes. Without even a cushion? Certainly. Poor man. <laughs> I think they could have found him something better to sit on than that. No doubt he found it good for his concentration, my lord. Yes, I can think of something he can't have been too good for. <laughs> it must have been extremely uncomfortable. Comfort was not then the desideratum it has unhappily become today. Oh, possibly not. However, Dean, I still think that you are making a mistake to move that screen. As Dean of the Cathedral, I am oh, empowered I under I know the... that you are within your rights. I wouldn't dream of interfering. I'm glad to hear that, my lord. And now, if you'll excuse us, we really are rather late for lunch. Mm. It's uh, salmon, you know, how easily it's spoilt by overcooking. Salmon? <laughs> no, my lord. At the deanery, Mrs. Pugh Critchley and I are not familiar with such choice viands. Oh, oh we didn't buy it, Dean. No, the bishop was given it by this nice man no, on the train. No, no, no. <laughs> Will you please show the dean out? Oh, of course, my lord. Will you come this way? Dean? Oh, uh, by the way, my lord. Oh, what is it now? I should perhaps have added that when the altar screen is removed tomorrow morning, I have ordered the curtains and cushions to be removed from your throne at the same time. Uh, you what? You can't do that. On the contrary, my lord, as you have just remarked, I am within my rights. Good morning to you, my lord. Oh, isn't that a good idea, my lord? <laughs> It will help you to keep awake, won't it? No! But <laughs> well, just a moment, Lord, I must go and show oh, Dean out. Oh, really? Of all, this is really too much. I shall fight this, Henry. I shall take this to the very top. I tell you, Henry. Henry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, Henry? Did you hear what the Dean said? <laughs> no, no, I heard what Kenneth Williams just said. <laughs> oh. Henry, would you get... A pair of scissors for me from the desk. Oh, of course, Bishop. Uh, anything you, to be useful. Uh, may one ask uh, what you want them for? You may. This. But, but Bishop, you've cut my wire. <laughs> yes, Henry, I know I have. You're coming with me. Where to? The dining room? No, Henry, the library. We're going to conduct a thorough examination of the cathedral records. That doesn't sound much fun. Ah. It may not be fun, Henry, but it's our only hope. We must find out why that screen was put up in the first place. We've got to keep the Dean's hands off my soft furnishings. Oh, dear. Don't waste time sighing, Newt. Well, mayn't I have a little rest, my lord? I've been reading solidly for nine hours. It's eleven o'clock. Newt, we have got to stop the dean taking down that screen. Henry! Oh, uh, what's that, Bishop? I was just... Henry, you've been reading that same book for hours. <laughs> have I? What is it? Uh, oh, just a book. Let me see. Pagan Fertility Rites. <laughs> Just happened to catch my eye. Oh, really? 
Well, we're here to search the cathedral record. But they're so boring. Nonsense, Henry. They're very interesting. Anyway, that's the last one. Oh, there's nothing in any of them. Ah, oh, that's that then. Good night, Bishop. That is not that, Henry. The answer may lie in one of these books. But we've looked through them, my lord. Not all of them. What about those up there on the top of the bookcase? Those? Oh, oh aren't they rather high? Oh, I see. It's the Anglo-Catholic shelf, is it? <laughs> I mean, they're out of reach, my lord. Out of reach? Nonsense. Get that ladder. Oh, of course. Huh? Well, yeah, here you are, my lord. Ah, thank you, Newt. Now, just stand it against the bookcase, will you? Right, oh, here yeah, we are. Thank you, Newt. Uh, well, ready when you are, my lord. Right, Newt, when you're ready. Right, here, my lord. When you like, Newt. <laughs> As you please, my lord. Oh, come on, man, get up the ladder. <laughs> What, me? Well, you surely don't expect me to go up there, do you? Well, no, I suppose not. Well, then. Well, no, I couldn't, my lord. No, no. Don't ask me, my lord. I haven't got a head for heights. Oh, don't be <laughs> silly. We'll hold the bottom, won't we, Henry? Henry! Did you speak? Can't you put that book down? Uh, no, Bishop, I, I might lose the place. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's got into you today. I'm sorry, Bishop. It's just that I've, uh, I've always wondered what unmentionable practices were. Oh, really, Henry? Come and hold this ladder. Uh, right, old bishop. Now, up you go, Newt. Oh, dear, must I? Of course. Oh, right here, my lord. I don't think I can go any higher. <laughs> but you're only on the first rung. Oh, is that all? Well, right here, then. Up we go. Oh, dear, I'm not enjoying this. Look, Newt, it's no good going up one rung at a time. That would frighten anyone, wouldn't it, Henry? Definitely. Just run up and you'll be there before you know what's happened. Well, are you sure? Yes, of course I am. I'll count up to three, and on three, up you go. Well, right? Yes, if you say so, my lord. Splendid. One, two, two three. Ah. There! Oh. What did I tell you? <laughs> Well, I, I look at the ground, my lord, and it seems so far away. Well, don't look at it. Now, back you go. Oh, no, no, don't, don't make me, my lord, please. No, to do as your bishop tells you. Oh, of course, my lord, if you put it like that. Go on. Oh. Higher, man, No, I higher. can't, I can't, my lord, Of I can't. course you can. Well, don't shake the ladder, please. Oh, don't shake the ladder, my lord. Then go on up, as oh. I tell you. Well, my lord, very well, yes. At last. Oh. Now, oh. don't look down and you'll be all right. <laughs> Right you home, my lord. Yes. Ah. What can you see? Well, I'm not sure, really, but... Uh, <laughs> I think it's Bishop Potter's remains. Impossible. <laughs> they buried him in the crypt. I was there. His <laughs> physical remains are deacon his literary remains. Well, what else is up there? Ah, then let me see. Carish on Leviticus, Cutworth on the intellectual system, and Bishop Bonner on... Oh, dear, I've got oh. this. Well, I couldn't see what that one was on. My head, Newt. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, my lord. Here's... Oh, I see. Oh, look here. Here's Canon Hackett's History of St. Dog. Good. See if there's anything in it. All righty ho, I'll come down. There's no need for that. <laughs> you mean, look at it up here? Well, of course. Oh, you will hold the ladder, will you? Well, of course we will. <laughs> hey, Henry. You're not still reading that book, are you? It's very interesting, Bishop. Ah, so it seems. There's a lot about St. Ogg's in it. Did you know that the cathedral was built on the site of a pagan temple? Well, of course, Henry. Most cathedrals were. Have you found anything, Newt? Uh, no, not yet, my lord. Look, yeah. there's a picture of the pagans. Where? Oh, oh, Henry. What are they doing? <laughs> I'm not sure, Bishop. I think it's an unmentionable... Practice. Not <laughs> Good gracious. Rather different from confirmation, eh? <laughs> it certainly is, Henry, and what's more, they appear to be doing it on the altar. An altar? Oh, it looks like a tea chest. A tea chest. Wait a minute. Look, look, it says the ceremony is being performed on the stone altar that was hewn from the living rock. This altar was later incorporated in the building of St. Ogg's Cathedral when it was used not as an altar, but as the bishop's seat to prevent the congregation from remembering its lurid past. Henry, I have an idea. What's that, Bishop? 
That is what we've been looking for. We must see the Dean at once. What now? He'll be asleep. Oh, don't worry, this will wake him up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, doesn't he be much here, my lord? Can I come down the ladder now? My lord? <laughs> <laughs> my lord? Oh, no, don't leave me here alone. How am I going to get down? Oh, help! Help! And so, Dean, in the light of this information, I feel sure you will agree the altar screen must have been erected to hide this stone from the congregation and prevent them thinking about its lurid past. And all those unmentionable practices. <laughs> Precisely. And so to remove it would be most unwise. As unwise as it would be to tamper with anything else, like curtains and cushions, for example. My lord, am I to understand that you have roused me from my slumbers in order merely to communicate this boulder dash? <laughs> Bald a dash. It is past credence. Well, surely you admit the screen was put there for some purpose. My lord, I am extremely tired. I should be grateful if I might be permitted to return to bed. No, 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 I'm very sorry, Dean. But as the spiritual head of this diocese, I must insist on your guarantee that you will not expose our people to the contaminating sight of this <coughs> pagan stone. Do I understand, my lord? that your objection to my moving the screen is based solely on your wish that this stone should not be revealed, and that were I to find an alternative method of concealing it, you would be satisfied? Uh, well, uh, yes, yes, I suppose so. Ah, then I am pleased to tell you I see a solution. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. May we have a peep? All in good time, Archdeacon. You will see when next you attend service in the cathedral. Good night, gentlemen. <laughs> And so, as we move step by step nearer to the simplicity of the primitive church, we are reminded of the testimony of those early authors, Eusebius of Caesarea, Socrates, uh, Solastic. Archdeacon. Yes, note. The writings uh, of Hermias. How do you think Zervanus, it looks without the screen? Not it's certainly opened it up, hasn't it? Yes. Epiphanus, I'm freezing. Set my eyes. Do you think it's more like the primitive church? The other it's of primitive, all right. Not Archdeacon. the path back Archdeacon. to yeah, this yes, simplicity yes, no. has been Doesn't the bishop look splendid sitting up there on the stone? He may, <laughs> he may look it, one but I shouldn't think he feels it. No, <laughs> he must be dreadfully hard. Still, there's one good thing. What's that? So I don't think there's much danger of him falling asleep. Satisfactory to all parties. And in keeping with the simplicity of the primitive church. Can I help you? Oh, thank you, Nars. Yes, we've called to see a patient. I'm sorry, but this isn't visiting time. Matron said it would be all right. Yes, you see, the bishop hasn't been allowed visitors until today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, in that case, uh, he's in here. Uh, some visitors for you, my lord. Oh, thank you, nurse. Oh, Henry, Newt, come in. <sighs> we've brought you some grapes, my lord. And I thought you might like to borrow my transistor, Bishop. I've had the wire mended. Oh, Henry, that really is generous. Oh, not at all, not at all. You're bound to be out before I need it next Sunday. <laughs> How is your neck, my lord? Well, it's, it's still very painful, Nukta. Can you turn your head yet? Not properly, Henry. <laughs> but it's getting easier. The doctor says it's the second most severe case he's ever seen. Well, I'm so sorry, my lord. Thank you, Doctor. So am I, Bishop. Thank you, Henry. Ah, um, my lord. Yes, no. Well, my lord, the Archdeacon, well, that is to say, uh, well, we've been wondering, haven't we, Archdeacon? Definitely. <laughs> oh, what about? Well, my lord, we, we don't quite see how sitting on that uh, stone... Uh, bare stone? A bare stone, yes. <laughs> could affect you in quite this... Um, uh, um, uh, a area. Yes, area, yes. <laughs> Yes. Mm. Oh, well, then, this has nothing to do with sitting on a stone. Isn't it? No, 
What I've got is a severe spasm of the neck muscles caused by a holy draft that blows across from the Lady Chapel. Because the Dean took the screen down. Yes, I always said that screen was put there for a purpose. Oh, then you'll be glad to hear the news, my lord, eh, Archdeacon? Uh, my word, yes. Please, will you tell him? Rather, nobody's seen the Dean since Sunday. Uh, no, not that, Archdeacon. I mean, <laughs> about the screen. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He's put it back. Yes, my lord. And all your cushions and curtains, my lord, so you'll be able to go to sleep. I down. know. I know. The dean told me. The dean? But nobody's seen him. The dean and I have been working together on the problem. And I am glad to say that he's come round to my way of thinking. It must be seeing you like this, my lord. Your case has softened his heart. I think he's been more affected by the other case, Newt. What other case? Oh, God, you mean someone else has got a spasm of the neck muscles? Yes. The doctor says it's the most severe case that he's ever seen. <laughs> Who is it, my lord? Oh, not poor old Mr. Paddy Jones, the organist. Not Mr. Yeah. Paddy Jones, Newt. The poor Dean. The Dean? <laughs> the Dean, is he? Is he here as well? Mr. In the next room, Henry, and likely to be there for some time, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I don't understand, my lord. I mean, how could the Dean be affected by the draft from the Lady Chapel? He wasn't. It seems he was affected by the northeast wind blowing from the cloisters. It seems the curtain round my throne were put there especially to protect the pulpit from it. He's talking about draft excluders, fitted carpets, and when I spoke to him this morning, he even suggested double glazing the east window. I think we can say that we've heard the last of his plan to return to the primitive church. <laughs> Deacon Robertson Hare, the Bishop William Mervyn, the Bishop's Chaplain Derek Nimmo, the Dean John Barron, the Nurse Betty Bascom. The Dean Goes Primitive was written for television and adapted for radio by Pauline Devaney and Edwin Apps. The programme was produced by David Hatch. present All Gas and Gators. Episode 8, The Bishop Gets a Letter. Starring Robertson Hare, William Mervyn, Derek Nimmo, and this week's special guest, James Hayter as the perpetual curate of Stagmarsh. It's a Saturday afternoon in the close of St. Og's Cathedral. In the front garden of the deanery, the dean is clipping his yew tree into the shape of a bird. The archdeacon in his car drives a little faster than he should. Narrowly missing a verger into the gateway of the bishop's palace. I just see who it is, my lord. I do. Oh, good afternoon, Archdeacon. Do come in. Uh, thank you, Newt. My word, isn't it a beautiful afternoon? Is it? Let me look. <laughs> oh, yes. So it is. Uh, don't tell me you've been in all day. Yes, I'm afraid so. The Bishop and I have been working. But it's Saturday afternoon. Everybody's out. The men are out with their wives. The lads are out with their sweethearts. Why, even the Dean is out with his bird. <laughs> Really? Well, I thought Mrs. Pugh Critchley was in Scotland for the Highland Gate. So she is. <laughs> he wouldn't dare interfere with that bird if she was at home. <laughs> oh, Stephen, you're surely not suggesting that when his wife's away, the dean is in the habit of, um, of, um, interfering with a bird. He, he certainly is, though he has to watch out. The gardener doesn't catch him. <laughs> the gardener? Yes, yes, you see. He, he likes to take care of that bird himself. <laughs> oh, there are, Stephen, I think you'd better come with me into the study and tell the bishop at once. Oh, oh well, if you insist. Oh, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> my lord? Yes? Oh, hello, Henry. Afternoon, bishop. Uh, my lord? Yes, Newt, what is it? Well, the archdeacon has got something dreadful to tell you. Oh, gracious, what is it, Henry? I've no idea. <laughs> 
starting. You can't go back on it like that. You must tell the bishop what you've just told me. Oh, that? Yes, <laughs> that, Archdeacon. Well, if you insist, Newt, the dean's clipping his yew tree again. He's not. <laughs> oh, he never did know when to leave well alone. Uh, but, Newt, I thought you said it was something dreadful. <laughs> yes, so did I. <laughs> Not as funny as all that. Well, I'm not even. Oh no, I'm so sorry. No, nothing. It's just that I, I, I thought that the archdeacon meant <laughs> well, that the dean was, you know, well, that the that dean he was, was what, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> May, may, may I sit down, please, my lord? Really, Newt, you know, I wonder sometimes if you're quite right in the head. Ah, uh, yes, my lord, yes. Don't yes. keep saying yes like that. Ah, uh, no, my lord, no, no, of course not. <laughs> now, um, thank you very much, my lord. Thank you. Henry, what can I do for you? I've come to bring you this letter, Bishop. It was wrongly delivered to me. Oh, right. See what it is, Newt. Uh, yes, my lord, yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you, Archdeacon. No, it's, um, it's a letter, my lord. I can see that. <laughs> Will you please open it and see what it says? Ah, very good, my lord. Yes, yes. Henry, will you stay to supper? Oh, well, Bishop, uh, may I? I had a very small lunch. Oh, but of course you can, Henry. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I so enjoy supper here. What was it we had last time? Oh, yes, yes, lamb chops with mashed potatoes, followed by apple pie and cream. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm afraid it's Mrs. Loosemore's night off. Oh, is it? Still, I expect uh, she's left something cold. Oh, no, Archdeacon, no, we have rather a special supper on Saturdays, don't we, my lord? Special? In what way, particularly? Newt cooks it. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, Newt, oh, oh, yes, oh, does he? Oh, yes, on the gas ring in bar, Archdeacon, I make scrambled egg with tomato sauce and cocoa. Oh, it's great. <laughs> You'll absolutely love it, Archdeacon. Oh, will I? I doubt it, Henry. <laughs> but it'll make a change. What's the letter about? Ah, well, it's from the Archbishop, my lord. Ooh, he wants you to go to a meeting in London on Monday. What for? To discuss ways of raising money for clergy income. Oh, that old problem. Yes. He said, if you have any cases of hardship in your diocese, will you please go armed with all the facts and figures? Cases of hardship in my diocese? Yes, my lord, shall I go and check? Note. How long have you been here? Ah, uh, three years, my lord. Is that all? No. It seems much longer. <laughs> well, I arrived on Innocence Day, my lord. <laughs> yes, of course. Well, that was just after Christmas. I'm afraid you arrived too late. Yes, we'd finished the turkey. Henry, <laughs> I am not talking about food. Sorry, Bishop. <laughs> it was on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you think of us here at St. Ogg's, Newt. I mean, you may not think Henry here much of an archdeacon. Oh, but I do, my lord. I really do. I assure you, my lord, I think he's absolutely much. You I do. Really. And for that matter, you may not think much of me as a bishop. <laughs> Well, um, anyway, there, there is one part of our duties that, whatever you may think, I can assure you we have taken very seriously. We've always taken a great deal of interest in our parish clergy and their standard of living. It's still the highest in any diocese in the country, isn't it? Uh, I believe so, Bishop. Oh, really, my lord, I have no idea. Well, of course you haven't, why should you? The fight was over before you arrived, but I can tell you that in our time, old Henry and I have fought some battles, haven't we? We have, Bishop. You see that old map of the diocese on on the wall behind my desk. Ah, yes, my lord. Yes, yes. The hours Henry and I have studied that. You can point to any parish and you'll find we can tell you all about it. Who the incumbent is, what his income is, how many children he's got, everything, can't we, Henry? Oh, certainly, Bishop. I can well believe it, my lord. Any parish that you care to point to. I don't doubt it, my lord. Well, go on, point to one. <laughs> There's no need to, my lord, I believe you. Do as I say, Newt. Just put your finger on the map. Oh, go on. Well, <laughs> well anywhere? Yes, anywhere. Ah, uh, well, um... <laughs> No, not right up at the top there. But, but you said anywhere. Anywhere but there. <laughs> there's nothing up there. Yes, there is, but all there's a name. Ah, that's not a name, it's a dirty mark. No, I'm sure it's a name, my lord. I can make out the word marsh. That is a description. It's near the sea up there. But there's a word before marsh. I, I can see the letter A. Precisely, A Marsh. <laughs> now stop messing about and point to a parish properly. Well, there are some other letters, my lord. The fastest an S, 
And the last is a G. G. Luke, it is a map, not a crossword. <laughs> Would it look like Sagmarsh, model? Could it be Sagmarsh? Well, it's probably an old-fashioned O. Sogmarsh. Uh, Sogmarsh? <laughs> an ancient expression denoting a very wet marsh. Now, Luke, for the last time... Oh, Stagmarsh! It's Stagmarsh, no Stagmarsh, Stagmarsh. Luke, there is no parish in this diocese called Stagmarsh. Is there, Henry? Yes. So you... <laughs> What's that? Uh, there is a parish called Stagmarsh. I don't believe it. Let me have a look. Good heavens, so there is. But who's in charge? I don't know any vicar of Stagmarsh. There isn't one. Ah, uh, I knew there wasn't. He's a perpetual curate. A perpetual curate? No, uh, yes, he's been there years. Has he? Well, he would have been, wouldn't he, my lord? I mean, if he's perpetual. Oh, he's really? Been. What's his name, Henry? Raggett. The Reverend Ernest. Newt, get the file on this uh, man. Yes, my lord, yes. I Henry, you know, this is frightful. How can I have overlooked him? Do you realize he may very well be the sort of case that the archbishop means? What's he look like? No idea. I've never seen him. You've never... Henry... Henry, you are the archdeacon. You're the bishop's eyes. My eyes, Henry. You are supposed to go to every parish and see every clergyman. I think I owe you an apology, Bishop. I think you do. Mark you, I, I've tried to see him. You have? When? Oh, a couple of years ago, but the road was flooded. Well, didn't, didn't you try again? Um, well, I've kept meaning to try, Bishop. Ah, yes, the father. Ah, thank you, Luke. Ah. Mm. Dear me, this is worse than I feared. This poor man is living right on the diocesan minimum. But why hasn't he been to you for help, my lord? Pride, Newt, pride. Oh. The old sin. We came across it often in the old days, didn't we, Henry? No, we did. So we used to call on them unexpectedly, Newt. Yes, just to ride without warning. Oh, yes, to take them things. What sort of uh, thing? Oh, clothes. Uh, yes, and of course we were always very careful to say that we'd brought them for the jumble sale. Oh, rather. And the next time we called, they were often wearing them. It was most moving. Oh, Jones at Ringmold is still wearing that coat I took him. Is he really? But he's very comfortably off these days. I know. I wish he'd give it back. <laughs> But taking them clothes didn't improve their income, well, my lord. Well, of course it didn't, Luke. It was only a temporary relief. But once we'd caught them off their guard, we could see just how poor they really were. Then we could set about finding money for them. Mark you, it wasn't easy. Do you remember Phillips at Hawley, Henry? My word, yes. <laughs> well, what about him, my lord? Well, he was terribly poor. And we didn't know where to turn for money when Henry hit on this brilliant idea. He went up to London to the air ministry, didn't you? Uh, yes. I asked them if they knew the local RAF station didn't have a chaplain. Well, what did they say? They appointed Phillips at a salary of 200 a year. How extraordinary. I thought you'd be impressed. Well, I am, my lord, I am. Especially as it isn't an RAF station at all in here. <laughs> what? Are you sure? Well, sir, my lord, it never has been. Henry, did you know this? Oh, of course I did, Bishop. Henry! <laughs> what have you done? Got Phillips 200 a year till they find out. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Henry Rick. <laughs> All the same, what can we do about this poor man at Stagmarsh? I can't possibly admit to the Archbishop that there's a case like this in my diocese. It's too humiliating. Well, the first thing is to visit Stagmarsh. I know that, Henry, but when? Mm -hmm. I mean, the meeting's on Monday. Why not go now? Now? My car's outside. It's a beautiful afternoon. Is it? Oh, yes. Couldn't go, my lord. Please, please, please. Well, I suppose we might. Oh, how exciting. Please, may I go to my room, my lord, and find some things to take with me, my lord? All right. We'll all find something to take him and meet at the car in ten minutes. Oh, well, will you change, my lord? Change? No change. What for? Well, won't you put on your gaiters? Gaiters? No, whatever for? Well, I just thought you would have liked him to see you looking well. I mean, uh, looking like his, uh, bishop. My object, Newt, is not to impress this poor man with my own importance, but to see for myself the wretched state in which he lives so that I may help him. Do you understand? Of course, my lord, of course. And if I may say so, in the words of the psalm, blessed is he that considereth the poor. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Newt. <laughs> not at all, my lord. <laughs> Which psalm is that, Henry? Blessed if I know, Bishop. <laughs> What 
What a beautiful afternoon, Newt. Where's the Archdeacon? Well, he's not here yet, my lord. I'm just putting these things into his car. What are they? Oh, just a few things for Mr. Raggett that I found that I don't need, my lord. My grey suit, a pair of trousers I bought the other day and I'm sure I shall never wear, and my winter yeah. overcoat. But you'll need that, won't you? Oh, no, my lord, no. I have my little Macintosh I can manage. Yeah. Mm, really? Well, you can add that to the list. Well, well, what's this? A shirt. It's a bit patched, so I shan't wear it, but he'll be delighted with it. Is that all you're taking, my lord? Well, of course, I can't afford to give away my entire wardrobe. Uh, here we are, Bishop. Ah, Henry. Sorry to be so long. Mrs. Banner was wrapping this parcel up for me. Uh, what's in it, Archdeacon? Well, a pair of jeans. A pair of jeans? <laughs> yes, my aunt gave them to me for Christmas. <laughs> I can't possibly wear them. I should think not, indeed. No, they're not tight enough. <laughs> Let's make a start. All uh, right, Bishop. All aboard. <gasps> Contact. Are you sure you know the way, Henry? Yes, Bishop. I can assure you nothing will prevent me getting there this time. Getting on, Henry. Nearly there, Bishop. Down this hill and round the corner was where the road was flooded last time. Well, it won't be flooded in this weather. Oh, look, my lord, look, I can see the sea. <laughs> well, you can't have a paddle this time, Luke. Put your foot down, Henry, or we should never get back to supper. Right, Bishop, I'll show you what this old bus can do. Oh, oh. <laughs> Archdeacon, don't go so far. Uh, don't worry, Luke. She certainly is, Henry. Oh, look, my lord, there's a notice. What did it say? Beware of something or other, there's a flooding. Beware what? Flooding? Well, I couldn't read it. The archdeacon was going too fast, but it began with a D. Did you hear that, Henry? A notice about the flooding. Probably left over from the winter. Oh, dear. Bishop, it won't be flooded at this time of the year. Well, couldn't you slow down all the same, archdeacon? Don't worry, it'll be all right. It's just round this corner. See, it's... Oh, flooded. Look, oh, Henry, oh, Henry, oh, oh, Henry. Oh, 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 stop that car, oh, Henry. No, no, I can't. Where are we going into the water? Help, 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 help. 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 Steady up, steady, steady. Oh. 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 My lord? Yes, look. I think that word must have been tidal, don't you? You know, beware of tidal flooding. Hello there! Oh, look. The gentleman over there on the bank, my lord. I think he's a, um, an agriculturist. <laughs> oh, yes, Henry. Look, do you want any help? Well, yes, please, my man. Come on, Henry. We'll have to wade ashore. Well, shan't we get oh. wet, my lord? <laughs> no wetter than we are already. Come on. Oh. Hey, didn't you never read the notice? This here road floods at high tide, you know. So we've gathered. But what about my car? Oh, don't you worry. I'll get some of the old past and strawberry pickers from the vicarage to push that out when the tide's gone down. The vicarage, Jim, is it far from here? Oh, just up the line. If you come up the farm, my missus will find you some dry clothes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, thank you so very much. Very kind of you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> We're used to people being too daft to read what's put in front of them. <laughs> Well, here we are, my lord. Stag Marsh Vicarage. Oh, look. Strawberry pickers apply within. <laughs> well, anyway, we've arrived. Thank goodness for that. I'm exhausted. So am I, Bishop. And when I think of my car... Never mind about your car. Think about my rheumatism. I shan't be able to move tomorrow. Oh, come, come, my lord. You weren't in those wet things for long. And it was very kind of that big farmer to lend us those clothes. Oh, do stop being so cheerful, Luth. Fancy me going to see one of my clergy dressed like this. Me, a bishop. Oh, I don't know, bishop. I think those dungarees rather suit. <laughs> oh, yes, my lord, yes. The, the blue brings out the colour of your eyes. <laughs> and we well, did say you want to be informal. Well, there are degrees of informality, Luke. Anyway, don't waste time. Ring the bell. Ah, yes, my lord, yes. You wouldn't rather leave it till another time. What other time? I'm seeing the Archbishop on Monday. Besides, that farmer said this was the only house in the district with a telephone. And may I remind you that until we can get hold of a taxi, we've no means of getting home. 
It must be nearly supper time. Yes. Uh, hurry up and ring the bar. Yes, my lord? Yes. Hey, my lord, um, what do we do if he asks us to stay for supper? Well, refuse, of course. But will that look rather rude? Oh, really, Lute, you've no imagination. I suppose you'd be content to sit down and eat the poor man out of house and home. Oh, no, of course not, my lord, but it does We seem... must say that we have a previous engagement, that we are out to dinner with, uh... uh an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Well, out to dinner with an old lady, we can't possibly put her off or she'd be upset. Now, do you understand that, Newt? Ah, yes, my lord. Yes. <laughs> well, what happens if he asks us to have a late tea? Tea. <laughs> tea. No, no, it's expensive. Accept nothing. Nothing? Not even a glass of water? I'm very thirsty. Oh, well, of course you can have a glass of water, Newt. But that is the only thing that you are to have. Yes, my lord. Yes. We must remember that when a man is as poor as this, every new penny counts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes now. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Right, come in, will you? Oh, thank you. Wipe your feet. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Wipe your feet, Newt. Ah, uh, yes, my lord. Yes. Wipe your feet, Archdeacon. Oh, uh, right. Now, come into the study, will you? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Just stand there, will you? Uh, Mr. Raggett, I think perhaps that I should explain. Just a moment, just a moment, I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> right. Have you got your card? Card? Well, no, not with me. What about you? Me? Uh, no, no. And you? Uh, no, no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> no, I should have to have them, you know. I beg your pardon. The law is the law. The huts at the back with running water. I pay the standard rate. You get an hour for lunch and no women in the fields. <laughs> Mr. Raggett, I'm afraid that there has been some mistake. Mistake? Now, look, do you want a job strawberry picking or not? <laughs> strawberry picking? That's what you're here for, isn't it? Rarely do I look like a strawberry picker. Well, since you ask me, yes. <laughs> oh, damn! The clothes, Bishop. What? Oh, 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 yes, yes, of course. These clothes, a strawberry picker. <laughs> it is not as funny as that, Newt. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Now, my dear sir, perhaps it will clarify the situation if I introduce myself. I am Dr. Cuthbert Heaver, the Bishop of St. Ogg's, and this gentleman is the Venerable Henry Blunt, my Archdeacon... And that is my chaplain. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I'm so sorry. How do you do, my lord? Welcome to Stagmar. Do sit down. But why didn't you tell me you were coming? That I could have prepared. Well, that's just what we wanted to avoid, you see, because the before... Uh, no, you... no, no, no. <laughs> my chaplain means that it was unavoidable. <laughs> Impossible. Well, well anyway, we're, we're here. But uh, forgive me asking, uh, why are you dressed like that? Oh, well, we did have a little accident on the way. Uh, the tide was in. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a very kind farmer lent us these things. Oh, <laughs> A pig farmer, was it? <laughs> oh, how clever of you to guess. Oh, not really. Do you mind if I open a window? <laughs> I must say, I think it's extremely good of you to come all the way out here to see me. Oh, not at all. We were just talking about you and uh, wondering how you are managing, don't you know? Oh, I'll rub along, my lord. Of course, my stipend here isn't too good. I expect you know that. Well, that's just it. You see, the Archbishop wrote and wanted to know if we got any cases of hardship. And the Bishop... No. The Archbishop is naturally concerned about us all. Hardship? Do you say hardship? Well, naturally, we don't like to feel... Well, I'm that. not in any hardship, I can assure you. You're not? Oh, no, no. I grow vegetables and fruit on my glebe land, which I'm able to sell. The soil is very good here. Most enterprising, very commendable. Of course, we will do everything in our power to help raise the stipend. Oh, but, my lord, the, uh, the clearance. Oh, oh yes, 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 of course. Thank you. By the way, we've brought you a few things. Uh, they're a bit damp. For the jumble sale. Ah, ah, yes. <laughs> For the jumble sale, naturally. Some things we were given. Ah, uh, here yeah, you are. <laughs> We, we, we shouldn't like you to think that they were meant for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's very good of you. This overcoat looks too good for the jumble sale. <laughs> Wouldn't mind having this myself. Well, I'm sure it would let out the splendid material in the seams. <laughs> it looks as though it would fit you. Why don't you have it? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I couldn't possibly wear it. No. Why, too proud to wear other people's clothes, are you? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, no, I mean, it's for the jumble. Please, 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 please give it to the jumble. Oh, very well, if you insist. Uh, did you ring, sir? No, oh, Barker. Put these things in with the jumble, will you? Uh, very good, sir. Thank you. Uh, you'd better boil them. 
<laughs> Boy, old woman. Uh, you can't be too careful. Uh, did you want something else, Marco? Uh, the Dorchester Hotel is on the telephone, sir. <laughs> Can they have another lot of the strawberries? Out of the question. They are prepared to double the price, sir. Tell them next week at the earliest. All this lot are to go to the Ritz in Paris. Very <laughs> Oh, Marco, don't forget those clothes. A uh, uh, note, note. Yes, give oh. him a hand. Ah, yes, Lord, I'll take them out. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who was that? No, 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 only my butler. <laughs> Your butler? Uh, do you have private means? Goodness, no, I wish I did. But as I tell you, the soil here is very good, and I do rather well off by a few acres. Then you aren't poor. Poor? Well, nobody's rich today, are they? Not with this crippling surtax. <laughs> are you seriously asking us to believe that you make enough from your vegetables to keep a butler and pay surtax? It almost makes you believe in miracles, doesn't it? <laughs> I had the soil analyzed once. It's a bit of a freak, an alluvial deposit or something like that. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Parker, what is it now? The Aga Khan on the line, sir. <laughs> I'm not to be interrupted, Barker. The bishop doesn't come out here often. He's ringing from Sardinia, sir. Could you let him have a dozen punnets? He's having a party. Oh, well, I suppose so. Give him some of Elizabeth Taylor's. <laughs> what shall I tell Miss Taylor when she rings, sir? Uh, tell her the crop is light this year. Very good, sir. Oh, sir... Uh, what is it now? Well, sir, it's Saturday night. Which wine shall I bring up for early service? Well, uh, what did we give them last week? The Chambertin 59. <laughs> well, we'd better try them on a claret this week. Uh, get up a bottle of the Margot. Uh, the 60, sir? No, 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 the 61. A better year. Very good, sir. Ah, well, I put all the clothes in the laundry room, my lord. Oh, by the way, my lord, you'll stay to dinner. Uh, oh. Oh, well, yes, that's very good of you, isn't it, Henry? Yes, I had a very small one. Oh, my lord, my lord. I'm sure that we should be delighted to dine with you. Uh, but unfortunately, we have a previous engagement to dine with a dear old lady. <laughs> Help me, my lord. You have? Oh, what a shame. You aren't missing much. What is there for dinner tonight, Parker? Uh, smoked salmon, potted duck, oh. and strawberries and cream. <laughs> Well, you see, you're not missing anything. It's all cold. Well, Barker, you'd better go out and get the car, run it to Lordship Home. Very good, sir. Which one? The rolls, of course. <laughs> You've got time for a glass of something, my lord, before you go? Oh, certainly. Hey, Henry. Who's to stop us, Bishop? Good. Now, what will you have? Three glasses of water, please. <laughs> Well, here we are, Henry, home at last. Shall I go and get the supper, my lord? Supper? Scrambled eggs and cocoa? <laughs> when I think of that dinner you did us out of, Bishop. Uh, what is it, Henry? Oh, 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 there you are, Barker. Off you go, Newt. Nope. Oh, uh, yes, my lord. Uh, shall I put this basket down here, my lord? Oh, yes, thank you. Now, are you off home, Barker? Yes, my lord. Ah, well, uh, Henry, have you got uh, anything? Uh, what? Oh, oh, yes, Bishop. Here. Thank you. Here you are, Barker. Just a little something for yourself. Oh, thank you, my lord. That's very kind. Oh. Is something the matter? Uh, no, 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 my lord. Well, uh, that, that is... Uh, Isn't it enough? It's rather too much, my lord. I think you'd better have it back. Uh, no offense. Thank you. Good evening, my lord. <laughs> too much? What does he mean? It was only a ten-shilling piece. No, it's not, Bishop. What is it, then? A medal. <laughs> it says on it, for the best sow in the show. <laughs> really, this afternoon has been, without exception, the most ghastly, the most... Oh, come along, Henry, let's go and have a drink. A drink, Bishop? Oh. Yes, a cup of cocoa. <laughs> but here we are, my lord. Now, don't get this from the Archdeacon. So I've got these eggs in this bowl, I'm beating them up, and before you know what's happened, they'll be... <laughs> Yeah, oh, really, no, what have you done? Well, I've dropped the eggs, my lord. I, I tripped over that basket. Well, I can see that. You better go and get some more. Well, I can't, my lord. These were the last. What? You mean... Yes, I'm afraid so, yes. Oh, yes. I had such a small lunch. Oh, really, this is too much. 
Not only do you, by singular ineptitude, deprive us of a dinner. And what a dinner? But you then manage by your clumsiness. Well, it's not my fault. Oh, why should I take the bed? It's a stupid place to pull a basket. What's in it anyway? Yes, what's in it? I've no idea. There are things, I suppose. What things? We haven't got any things. He boiled my overcoat. <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's look and see. What's in it, Henry? Oh, Bishop, look at... Isn't that a bottle of champagne? It is. And look, here's a whole side of smoked salmon. Oh, look at this, my lord. A beautiful bowl of potted duck. And that's not all. Do you see what I see, Bishop? I think so, Henry. Oh, my lord, three pallets of strawberries. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Bishop? Yes, Henry. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. <laughs> The parts were played as follows. The Archdeacon, Robertson Hare. The Bishop, William Mervyn. The Bishop's Chaplain, Derek Nemo. The Perpetual Curate of Stagmarsh, James Hayter. The Butler, John Gabriel. The Farmer, Peter Tudnam. The Bishop Gets a Letter was written for television and adapted for radio by Pauline Devaney and Edwin Apps. The program was produced by David Hatch. You can hear episode 9 of All Gas and Gators, The Bishop Gives a Party, on Tuesday evening at 6.15 here on Radio 4.